Listen, my man Ace Vane said, this is probably the longest puff he's ever gone without getting some pussy. <laughs> but, but, in life. Like, you know, he's in jail like right now. Like 19 from, or something. He's in jail. From a $50 million house to in jail. That's just, they got to hurt his soul. Right now, when me and you are speaking, you're talking about where you're going to eat afterwards and where you might go shopping. He's but sitting he in get a out jail this, cell. I think he's going to get out of this for some reason. Himself. He's going to get out? I think, I think he's he going to get out of it. I mean, he might. Puff Daddy got Puff Daddy is, is a smart, slick boy. I think I, I don't think he's innocent for everything, but I think he's gonna get out of it because he's gonna find a loophole. Well, he's charged with sex trafficking, racketeering, and kidnapping, and he's potentially facing life in prison. That'd be sad if he get life. That'd be oh that that that'd be that'd be a travesty, man. Like R. Kelly, a travesty to me. He shouldn't get that much. He shouldn't get that much time as he got. He was messing with underage kids. I mean, but thirty five years, underage kids. Thirty five. Th but I'm saying, what's the repeated what's, repeatedly. When you say underage, what you Repeated. mean, like 17, 8, 8, 17, 16? That's what, was the, what was Aaliyah, 15? Well, they went back to Aaliyah. I mean, I mean, how old was he when she was 15? Like 23? She was still 15, bro. Yeah, I mean, I mean but 35 years? Yeah, you got to think. It's people it that kill Aaliyah, people. Like... It was that girl in the video. It was a oh, bunch yeah. of other girls. About that video. He had a problem. Man, he's a, he's a child molester. He's, he's, a, he's a serial child molester. That's, that's, he's a serial child molester. That's the one thing I can't agree with. When, when he did that, like, that child molester stuff, he, did, he shouldn't have did that. But like everything else, like the girl saying he locked them in a room, all that stuff, I'm like they could have left. A lot of that stuff is bullshit, yeah. yeah. I mean, look, what, you don't have a cell phone? Well, you take your phone. But like, where was these kids' parents at? Man, you know what I, I'm saying? I, think, like, I think a lot of these parents were hoping that he could turn their kid into a superstar and they looked the other way. Just like, look, the Michael Jackson shit. Do I think that Michael Jackson molested those kids? No, I don't think so. Do I think that a parent should leave a child with a grown, with a man. grown man that's not their relative and let them sleep over the without like you that. being there in the same room as that child? I can't even imagine that. I say R. Kelly, 10 years would have been su sufficient. 10 years would have been cool. So 10 years instead of, instead of the, what, 35? 35? That, it's people that kill people that don't get 35 years. So he, okay, 10 years. I mean, 10 years is still 10 years. Yeah, I think he's in state prison. I don't think he's in the federal system. I think he's in regular yeah, state. I think he's in the state, yeah. That's hard time. I mean, you are Kelly. Like, like, I mean, I, didn't, I mean, R. Kelly, like, he got a problem. Yeah. I mean, like, he got a problem. But I, and I don't think that, I, don't, I think if he got out, he wouldn't mess with young people no more. Well, you would say that, but remember, he beat his first case and he went back to doing it again. Because it's kind of like Puff Daddy. He thought he forgot about consequences. You know, they forget. They, they're doing all them yes men around him. They, they, they need somebody around them like, yo, bro, you got to stop doing that. Like, period. I mean, but, you know, people like that got power, they want to get you away from them if, if, you, if you tell them like that, stuff like that. I guess which is just sort of weird with the R. Kelly thing is like, okay, you you like young girls. So, so mess with 18-year-olds. Yeah, some people might, so saying, might like, frown upon it, but it's totally legal on a federal level. In every state, the feds, if she just turned 18, cool. Just go, you still got the little teenage fantasy in your head, whatever, 18, 19, 20, Get some skinny girls if you want to pretend like they're younger, whatever. But just keep them at 18. You're R. Kelly. You have girls that are flocking you at every concert. Everywhere. Okay? But can, I, you, imagine, can you imagine every day you wake up and what you're what you attracted to is illegal? Every day you wake up, you're like, everything you, like, oh, I can't even look. Like, that got to be the craziest feeling in the, like, you got to thank God for not having that, that to happen to you. Like, I mean, because I can't imagine me like seeing 10 year olds and 12 year olds and, like, and I just be turned on about it. And I know it's wrong, but I got to, uh, but I just can't. I mean, it's got to be a torture to yourself. Well, just today, uh, his daughter, there's a video uh, released with her where she's saying that he molested her when she was young, that she woke up and he was touching her or something. That's crazy. I mean, I hope it's not true. But it's a lot of people, like but, a lot but, but of pedophiles. But it's also, the way, the way, listen, I'm not trying to minimize what she was saying, but like, it didn't sound like she was saying that he had sex with me or he whatever. You know what I'm saying? Could it potentially have been, hey, I'm just going to check on my daughter while she's sleeping. I'm just going to tuck her in a little bit and she wakes up. And oh, it's like, oh, my dad. Well, I think she did me. it. I think he, he might have did it because I don't see a daughter just saying it. I got yeah, two daughters. But a daughter saying it when your dad is in prison for messing with underage. I don't know, man. My daughter, I, I, my daughter, I, 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 I can't know. imagine my daughter saying, saying that about me and if it wasn't true. You know what I mean? But if you're already in jail for a whole bunch of child molestation. But they, I, I think they still look at me. If I didn't touch them, they still look at me as they dead. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, but the mom turned against them. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, I can you understand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The mom my, moms, is, dude, moms can influence the, the kids. Yeah. yeah, but you've seen that time and but, time but, again. But your track record like that, though, you might have did it. Like, you never know. You might have did it. You might have molested your own kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I mean, there's the whole Menendez brothers thing. I don't know if you've been what? following that. Yeah, but, yeah, I, 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 but they I were basically know. saying how the dad molested them and they're trying to like get an appeal and everything else like that. But the dad, I think the dad did it because he molested some other kids. Yeah, the one of the Menudo kids. Menudo, yeah. yeah. So like, Possibly. But you know, but if you molest other boys, does that mean you necessarily molest your own boys? No, it, like, it don't mean you did, but it's a possibility that you did. I guess it's a higher possibility because yeah. you already molest her. Yeah. But like. Plus, dude, if you rich like that, your kids don't usually just kill you. <laughs> they killed him and the mom. Yeah, because the mom probably knew what was going on. They probably felt like, yeah, man, she knew what was going on. I just don't, it's, it's sad if that really happened. They've been in prison longest. They've been in prison what 30, 30 some years. I mean, but it's a lot of people that that's, that's pedophiles, man. I mean, it's this whole blocks in prisons for that. So were you locked up with pedophiles? Every prison got pedophiles in it. But but I thought pedophiles were separated. Yeah, they separated. They got, they got their own block. You know what I mean, but yeah, they separated. But they they got a whole block. Yeah, I, I remember uh, Hector Bravo. He was uh, you know a CEO for like I don't know like twenty five years. He said that every so often the prisons would like put like the pedophiles and, and general population and just let let the inmates just go at them. No, not, not the prison I was at, they didn't. That. No, because because it was like they might die or something. You know I mean because you know I mean because people don't that's one that's one thing that's frowned frowned upon. It's even frowned upon like, you know, like a rapist in prison that rape like women might be cool in prison. Like some some prisons don't even really care about that. Even though it's wrong, you know what I mean, but like a kid, every prison that's that's wrong. Like, I mean that, that people frowned upon that in every prison. So so have you ever been in the same room as a child molester yeah. in prison? Yeah. Yep. Why, were you, it was, it was were you on PC as well at one point? No, I never was on PC. But uh, uh, really, we, even you being known, they didn't put you. They tried on PC? to. I was in a jail called George W. Hill. They tried to put me on PC. I begged them not to. I mean, why, why didn't you want to be in PC? Because you got to be locked in all the time. You then not around with a bunch of people that's that's scared that then told on somebody. Like I mean, or like I mean, it's just like it's, it's weird. Your time would be harder. Hard time. Yeah, I mean, so I you know I rather people being out with, with everybody playing space. I mean, doing that. Population, you know I mean? Okay, so how were you actually around child molesters? Well, when we first, we first came through, through the prison. And it was so crazy because it was this white guy, right? And, and they asked him what he was locked up for. He said he was locked up for, uh, he said he was going up and down the East Coast breaking into soda machines. He had a key that can go into any soda machine and taking the money out. <laughs> so, and I'm like, like you up state prison for that? I mean, mind you, we, I mean, I'm talking about Dallas prison is like a, like a maximum type, everybody got life and shit like that in there. So then they, somebody had the paper and showed the paperwork, you know I mean, that he had re molested all these kids. Like I'm talking about he hurt the kids. It, then he, you know, he checked into the hole, whatever. But it was, it was, a, it, was a, it was a young guy like Justin Bieber that was went, uh, upstate with me. He was about eighteen. He had HIV. His uncle gave it to him, right? And he gave it to one of his little cousins. He molested Damn. one of his little cousins. They had him locked in all the time. I mean, they, they knew something was gonna happen to him. He, he like he, he like he supposed to have been in like tenth grade somewhere. I mean, little white kid, blue eyes, little kid. Like, I said, bro, you can't. You gonna? He, they're never gonna let him in population ever. So if he even if he in jail for fifty years, he's probably gonna be in the hole. Though, you know I mean, because he won't be able to make it in prison. You know I mean. But the thing is that, you know, you start trying to lower the age of consent. Like, you know, this takes a whole movement trying to lower the age of consent. I think it's to like 15 or something like that. Well, in certain states, it is lower. But on the yeah. federal level, it's 18. Yeah. So but you go to like Kentucky and stuff like that, like 14-year-olds could have sex with like, I don't know, like 17-year-olds or maybe even 18-year-olds. Like, you know what I mean? There, there is a limit to yeah. certain things. You can't be like 50 and having sex with a 15-year-old. But it's a lot of people that's like that because, I mean, they got like, yeah, I watched that. And what's that? That's the, NW, the uh, NYPD show, Law and Order. Yeah, SVU. <laughs> that show make you like that. Make you don't trust nobody. Like, you know, I mean, you watch that show, make you don't trust nobody. Like everybody's doing. That's like, damn, it's like it's like that. I mean, so like, I mean, that's that's a that's a thing that's crazy rampant. But I never talked about it in hip hop or nothing like that. Like this stuff with sex and hip hop is just different now. Before it, the stuff that Puff Daddy was doing was normal. Like kind of like, I mean, if you guys girl, like that was kind of normal in, in in rap the rap life. You know what I'm saying? Not not like trafficking nobody. No, I never heard that word until like recent years. Trafficking, like it was <laughs> unless it was drugs or something, you know what I mean? But it wasn't frowned upon how it is now. Like the world more sensitive now. 